Welcome back everyone. Well, humid and sticky across the area today. It stays muggy overnight tonight with some patchy fog possible, especially along the coast. And we've got a round of some scattered showers and thunder showers on the way as we head into our Sunday morning. More on all of that in just a little bit. But first, again, lots of cloud cover out there today and almost downright uncomfortable out there. We got temperatures that were pretty much sitting right around 70 degrees. So more than likely, if you had to step outside at any point today, I'm sure you've noticed it. Uh, we got some active showers and storms off to our north this evening. Uh, tornado watch in effect for the northern parts of the state. Active tornado warning ongoing here for eastern. Texas and the severe weather threat here should generally stay off to our north as these showers and storms gradually start to weaken as they're as they make their way southward here. So we pick it up with the high resolution rapid refresh model and again humid night ahead got those clouds locked in southerly winds continuing to bring in that Gulf moisture. So we may see some patchy fog uh, once again kind of similar to the last couple of nights, but mainly along uh, the coastal parishes and confined so right along the uh, intermediate coastline here. And then we're going to have a frontal boundary that's going to be pushing through the area tomorrow morning. Best rain chances will be, we'll say, early to mid tomorrow morning with scattered showers, maybe even a few thunder showers as well. Could see some locally heavier downpours in spots, but not looking like a complete washout out there for our Sunday. In fact, by the afternoon, the rain starts to taper off, uh, but clouds stay locked in. So overcast skies through the course of the afternoon should turn slightly cooler as well with temperatures uh, falling back into the 60s. Another breezy day, only different differences. Winds will be out of the north uh, tomorrow at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then as long as that frontal boundary sags far enough into the Gulf of Mexico heading into our Monday, that should hopefully keep us on the quiet side. Slightly cooler start there on our Monday morning. Readings in the upper 40s to lower 50s. And then we'll call it fair to partly cloudy skies throughout our Monday afternoon with temperatures topping out in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Now as far as rainfall totals again with that system pushing through tomorrow morning, not looking like a whole lot. In fact, most of us probably a quarter of an inch or less, but notice some locally higher amounts possible, at least in spots, but shouldn't be looking at any flooding issues or anything like that. And temperature wise again, muggy out there tonight. No doubt about it right around 70 degrees. First thing tomorrow morning, really that's when our high temperature is more than likely going to occur. Notice temperatures falling into the 60s by tomorrow afternoon under cloudy skies. Cooler as we head into tomorrow night, Monday morning with temperatures starting out in in the upper 40s to lower 50s and then uh, those temperatures will be climbing into the upper 60s to lower 70s there on our Monday afternoon under fair to partly cloudy skies. But uh, tonight cloudy skies in place, muggy and humid out there, low temperatures only falling back to right around 70 degrees and some areas of coastal fog possible. Rain chances gradually increasing on us as the night wears on. For our Sunday, we'll call it morning showers, some isolated thunder showers possible as well with those rain chances tapering off by the afternoon. Temperatures there uh, for a high temperature probably occurring in the morning and then falling into the 60s by tomorrow afternoon and we'll see a northerly breeze at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Next 10 days shaping up like this uh, that frontal boundary that's going to be pushing through will look to make a jog back to the north as we head into Tuesday so uh, that should help to deliver on some scattered showers. Stronger front there by midweek and that'll help to cool us off pretty nicely as we uh, round out next week. Kendria.